Morning, 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 morning. How y'all doing this morning? Listen, I want to come on real quick. My name is Coach Carvel Bailey. If you don't know me, Coach Carvel Bailey, I've uh, been a well, been a basketball coach for 26 years now, going into year 27. Uh, yeah, it's been that long. Um, been a head college basketball coach, uh, high school coach, um, and now I help basketball players get to the next level by improving their skills and their leadership on and off the court. So that's what I do now for a living. Um, I wanted to come to you real quick, real quick. If you're watching the replay, I want you to drop the uh, drop a comment down here. Forgive me with the chapstick. I have a thing about dry lips. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting in the classroom right now, actually sitting in the study hall. So students are working, uh, actually innovative. Uh, they've recorded their teacher um, in class, and they are now listening to it. That's how they're studying. That's real innovative. Probably have my daughter do it. Um, so now they can, you know, kind of get it firsthand. Um, and that's great. That's a whole nother life. But I wanted to come on real quick because I wanted to give um, parents, I wanted to give parents three tips for their kid um, before tryouts. All right, three tips uh, for parents parents to help their kids with and you know for athletes to know before a tryout this is like really before youth tryouts uh, grammar school I'm talking school teams and not club teams um, so the first thing that uh, your child uh, or the student athlete or you if it's a uh, student athlete watching um, and definitely subscribe to my page coach Carvel Bailey um, and I'm pretty sure that you will get a lots and lots of value from this. But anyway, here you go. Three tips for youth players before tryouts. Uh, the first tip is this. <clears throat> get to know your coach. Get to know your coach. You know, there are um, players who oftentimes move um, or there are players who, you know, may have played AAU or club basketball, so they're f f familiar with. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so they are familiar with playing basketball, but what happens is they may show up to a new school, or they may be in a new environment, or let's say they've played, you know, third, fourth, fifth grade, but now the team has a sixth grade team. And so this is the first year playing for the school. Uh, the kids want to get to know your, their coach. Get to know your basketball coach. Um, get to know their name. Get to know what subject they teach. Get to know if they're even in the building. Sometimes nowadays coaches aren't even in the building. So you want to know if the coach... My notifications keep blowing up. But... Um, you want to get to know your coach, and here's how you can get to know your coach. Um, one is the obvious, go and meet him. You know, hello, how you doing? My name is, you know, Carvel Bailey, and I'm in the seventh grade. Now, you don't even have to mention that you want to try out for basketball. It's not even, it's not even a point for you to mention that you want to try out for basketball. You just want to get to know the coach. Introduce yourself to the coach. You know, see. Um, you know, get to know their name, get to, um, again, know what grade they teach. And then after you get to meet them personally, then come back and maybe write them a letter or nine days, send, a, send an email. And, you know, coach, it was great meeting you. Um, I just wanted to follow up. Now, I'm not talking about kissing coaches, but I'm not, please don't do that. Coaches hate that. Coaches hate, like, butt kisses so don't do that but you want to get to know the coach and so introduce yourself send an email uh write a letter because what that does is now that separates you from the rest of the pack because now the coach is like wow okay who is this kid and even if you know the coach say that he's he's your teacher or she's your teacher or you just see them around the building 
or even you played for them before. You know, sometimes seventh graders, now they're going into eighth grade and, you know, they know the coach or the different coach, but get to know them. What do I mean by that? Like, you know, ask them about their weekend. You know, ask them, you know, like, how is their day going? As coaches, you'll be amazed how appreciated um, we feel when players, you know, ask us about our personal lives and not just basketball. So get to know your coach. That's tip number one. Tip number two is be available. And parents, this is a big one for you more so than the student. Um, oftentimes before trials, they may have, you know, open gym be uh, on Saturdays or on Sundays in the evening or even sometimes before school or maybe even right after school. You have to allow your child to be available for these pre-tryout things. If that's open gym, sometimes that's even an activity going on within the school. You have to make sure that your child is available to that because what it what it says, especially if it's a normal uh, uh, event and now your child comes and participates, it lets the coach know, OK, well, this person is a citizen, if that makes sense. You know, they're not just a basketball player. They, um, you know, get out and do things. They, you know, come to the school and they, you know, take ownership in their school and what their school is doing. So now it's a little bit easier for you know, the coach to understand that player as a person, as an individual, and not just a basketball player. So be available. If they're open gyms, you know, you don't have to attend all of them, but be available. Allow for your child to be available. Um, and you know, you don't have to be at everything, but you want to be there. So again, being available allows for you to get to know the coach or even if they're like non basketball sponsored events, still be available because now teachers talk. Oh, uh, we had this event this weekend and uh, Carvel was there, you know, other students, you know, don't be the one that just shows up on trials and then wonder why you got cut or wonder why your kid got cut because they just showed up on trials. And then here's the biggest thing. Here's the third reason or the third thing that uh, youth players should do before tryouts. And so the first two is get to know your coach. Go meet them personally, send an email, write a letter. And writing letters are, are more important than sending emails because it took you time to write that letter as opposed to send that email. So get to know your coach. Be available. The third tip to helping you before tryouts is do not brag and boast about the type of player that you are or about, you know, what this NBA player does and that NBA player that don't be a loud mouth <laughs> because coaches hate that. You know, if you're bragging about, you know, you may have been good on your club team, on your AAU team, but now you're bragging and boasting about, you know, what you can do or how, you know, this pro player, you know, does this and, you know, they're way better than that. And, you know, you're totally like controversial, even in normal like basketball debates or conversation. Don't be that individual. And here's why. Because the basketball guys has a way of coming to see all of us. And so you may just very well have a bad outing. Let's say trials is one day. I had a parent, um, you know, some years ago, a um, couple years ago, and they came to me and said, uh, Coach, my kid has tryouts next week, and I want to bring him to you uh, so he can help make the basketball team. And I, I was perfectly honest. I said, well, you know, ma'am, um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I can help him in a week to make the basketball team because um, I can create magic, but I'm not a miracle worker. And so, you know, she brought her son anyway, and, you know, she bought a package of five and brought him every day. And, you know, he went to tryouts and he got cut. <laughs> and, you know, she called me and said, you know, coach, um, did you work with my son on ball handling? Said, Absolutely. Um, and she said, well, you know, the coach said he really couldn't dribble. I said, well, I mean, you have to understand, your kid is like 13. Um, and I had five days with him. So I was able to 
get him better, but maybe he wasn't on that level in which he needed to be. So in that one tryout, that one day where all they did was play. And now if, you know, the kid got the ball taken from him several times or, you know, couldn't dribble. Um, I mean, are they working on their development? But now when you're talking about, hey, uh, Kyrie a better dribbler than this person or, you know, hey, this person don't don't know how to dribble. Um, man, they suck and they do all that. And like you, you're you're loud and bolsterous. But now you get to that tryout and the basketball guys come see you and you just have a bad day. That's what I mean by the basketball guys coming to see you. You know, you just, you know, it could be the good basketball guys or the bad basketball guys. You know, you just have a bad day. And then sometimes, you know, the good basketball guys come to see you and it's, and it's like, whoa, that wasn't me. That was an out-of-body experience. Uh, but if the bad basketball guys come see you, you have a bad day, that's going to be magnified by infinity based on your prior conversations about what you can do and how you can do it. And you may be a very good player, but you may just have a bad day and, and tryouts is all based on you and how you play. So let's think. The coach doesn't know you. You haven't been available. And even, you know, okay, so the coach may not hear you brag and boast, but all your friends hear you brag and boast, and then they all make the team and you don't. Not good. So, Again, recap it. Get to know your coach. The second tip is be available. And the third tip is don't brag or boast. I'm pretty sure if you put those three things into action, like right away, it'll help you be successful and um, get you closer to making a team or even being a more integral part of the team. And then next, we got to talk about skill development. So <laughs> we would do that. But speaking of skill development, um, November the, let me look at the calendar, November the 8th. November the 8th, November the 8th for 10 weeks. Um, Game Changer Academy. I'm, I'm, I'm starting a 10-week program that uh, will help kids with not only uh, skill development on the court, but off the court as well. Uh, you can go to um, GameChangerAcademy.info, GameChangerAcademy.info. I'll put it in the comments as well. And um, put in the comments, GameChangerAcademy.info, and go there. It'll give you all the information. And you definitely want to register because spots are going to fill up quick. They're already filling up. And so once they're gone, they're gone. But this is going to be an experience like no other. Just drop it in the comments. It's going to be an experience like no other. They're going to get the personal as well as the athletic development. Uh, we got a few other bonuses that we're going to throw in. Uh, they're getting uh, T-shirts. They're going to have competitive play, going to end the camp with um, a tournament, and it's going to be actually six different individualized camps within the 10-week program, so it's going to be amazing. So you want to get to GameChangerAcademy.info, GameChangerAcademy.info, and uh, get your child registered. We're going 4th to 12th grade, 4th to 12th grade, and tips like this that I just gave, we will cover those things every class every class we will cover those things so uh the value that you're going to get is amazing um it's actually set at um an amazing price because it's it's really not about uh like making a lot of money on this i want to be able to help uh conform and um cultivate again the game of basketball and help transform young individuals lives and so um, I've got to set the price point uh, so that it can be economical for uh, those people that are serious enough that they want to invest that in their child but then 
um, also make it affordable for those people that can see and appreciate the value. So, hey, Coach Carvel Bailey, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Uh, I'm out. Peace.